Besides conversion of digital codes into an analog signal, digital analog converters are widely used for controlled processing of analog signals, such as strengthening and weakening of analog signals into a given number of times. This is best done by multiplying DAC, which allows changes in the level of reference voltage within a wide range, including change in its sign. Now there are quite many of such DAC chips produced, with different speed and different number of bits of the input code. The most simple circuit is a digital attenuator or reliever of the analog signal that is used frequently to adjust the output amplitude of a DAC-based generator. In the circuit, an alternating analog signal is fed to the analog input of the DAC instead of a constant reference voltage, and the DAC itself must be multiplied. The output signal is proportional to the input with inversion, and the proportionality factor is determined by the input digital code N. The proportionality factor in this case varies from 0 to about 1 in increments of 2 degrees raised to the power of minus N. The DAC input register in this case is necessary as when bits of the input code are not switched simultaneously, the DAC output signal can be superimposed by short pulses of large amplitude. Requirements for the DAC speed in this inclusion are not too high since the amplitude of the output signal is usually required to change infrequently. The frequency of the input analog signal can be quite large. It has nothing to do with the time response of the DAC. There is also a connection circuit of the DAC, which can be used as a controlled amplifier of the analog signal with a gain given by input code N. The coefficient of proportionality between the output and input voltage is inversely proportional to code N. In this case, code N may vary from 1 to 2 of degree raised to the power of N minus 1 which corresponds to the gain of approximately 1 to 2 raised to the power of n. For example, with a 10-bit DAC, the circuit gain may reach 1024. As in the previous case, the switching speed of the DAC is not very important, since the gain is usually not required to be switched too often. The DAC input register, again, is necessary to provide simultaneous switching of all bits of the input code. Using a serious connection of two circuits considered, we can provide a reduction to the standard level of the input voltage, variable within wide limits. This task often occurs in the analog digital systems. Finally, the last widely popular circuit with a DAC is the shift circuit of the analog signal by an amount given by the input digital code. The shift is, in fact, the addition of the analog signal with a constant voltage. This task often occurs in analog digital systems. The shift circuit includes a digital code to output voltage converter and an analog adder unit at the operational amplifier.